This is an unusual barter offer. I have a desire to collect compound bows, old fishing rods, fishing equipment, and some hunting equipment. And this year we're going to allow you to hunt for a day for rabbits, geese, turkey, deer, groundhogs. If you bring us one of these items, like an old compound bow that you don't want, a couple of old fishing rods, or if you don't have any of those items, you can bring us a locust, cedar, or pressure treated fence post. For we're building a deer repellent fence as well. And we're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is Highland Hill Farm. And we have unusual trades and barters for you. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. And if you bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post and you get a deer, we have an unusual program this year where you get three free days for each time you get a deer. And if you get two deer in any part of the season, you get to hunt the rest of the season for free and I give you something that's worthless. For example, 25 US dollars. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for this unusual barter offer here at Highland Hill Farm. Thank you. I just got in these two solar panels in trade for some trees and shrubs. These are hot water solar panels that can be mounted on a roof. I will trade them for other things that I could use on the farm such as tools and equipment or I'm also looking to collect Browning 12 gauge shotguns and I'd like to get a 280 Remington so there are things that I would trade these two solar panels for or if you have more solar panels and want to trade them for trees and shrubs I'd be interested just give me a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. At Highland Hole Farm, we're installing a deer fence around one of our farms. This is our Lazalier farm on Ferry Road and Gordon Road. We're fencing in approximately one mile of deer fence. The deer fence will be eight foot tall with woven wire. We've had a lot of problems with deer on this farm, so we're finally biting the bullet and just putting in a fence to keep the deer out. We're going to fence for the beginning part of this year three sides where the deer mostly enter the property. It won't be a complete fence around the property because we won't have time to get it all done by the time the deer start to rut. The, the deer rutting is when they rub our trees is the worst damage that these deer do to us. They do some browse damage but the, the rutting and rubbing of the trees is most problematic for us. In this video we're using an MT-52 and we also use our MT-55 to drill the post holes. We've marked out where the posts should go and we're dr slowly drilling down in. It takes a while to drill some of these because they hit some rocks. He's going to bust through the, the rocks here. and. Uh, We'll, we'll be putting the posts in as we go. We're using cedar posts, locust posts, and pr pressure treated posts. The posts we're putting in are about 12 foot tall. We're putting them in the ground approximately 3 foot, 2.5 to 3 foot depending on where the hard pan is. This property we grow a lot of arborvitas and we also grow some hardwoods on them as well as some viburnums. We've, over the years, shot many deer on this farm, but it's almost impossible for us to shoot the deer because they're nocturnal, and they come out at night and do their damage then. And as you can see now, the, the auger is starting to get through the roots and the rocks and starting to actually go in the hole. Now what we'll do is we'll stop the auger and just pull it out, slowly lifting it out of the ground, and that way we can bring all the dirt out of the hole at the same time and we'll, we'll probably dig in the neighborhood of 20 holes a day and put posts in 20 holes a day. Uh, we have to clear out as we're going because there's a lot of places here where there's a lot of heavy brush and we're going through some, some old hedgerows. 
we've found the property markers and we are putting the fence back a couple feet from the property lines and in some places a little further and here it's lifting it out right now it slowly comes out and all the dirt comes with it to make a nice clean hole. He'll back it off a little bit then dump it off. As you can see the hole goes down pretty well. It's a nice round hole and the posts will fit in there nicely. This is the same loader that we use when we deliver and plant our trees. It's a very handy little loader. It's a walk behind MT-52 made by Bobcat. We bought this at Delaware Valley Bobcat in Warminster. We have three of them on the farm. And in the background you can see another loader. That's a Bobcat. That's a full-size Bobcat. That's like an uh, 873 or something like that. Uh, we've marked where on the ground the posts were, will go. So that's already completely marked. And you can just barely see the, the guide wire there marking the uh, property line where we're putting the posts on. This soil here is a real nice digging soil. It's a clay soil. We like clay soils for our balls because they hold them together well instead of like a, a, a sand ball which can fall apart quickly. The clay balls actually transplant better, we think, than a, than a sand ball. They're a little bit heavier and they can hold a lot of water. Most of the trees that we dig and plant are for screening and buffering. This, this, this hole went in a lot easier. There wasn't as many rocks. The operator has an assistant. The assistant's pulling the dirt away so it doesn't mound up around the hole as they dig. And again, he lifts it right out and he'll be ready to go to the next hole. When we use this machine on your property, one of the advantages of this machine, it has so much surface area for the tracks that there's very little ground pressure. So as you can see, we haven't torn up the ground with this machine. We've